in this worksheet, we're going to calculate the net present value and IRRs of project A and B so we can compare them. And then we're also going to create a net present value profile. Let's begin by calculating um, our present value of our cash flows using just a regular formula. Equals the cash flow divided by the quantity 1 plus our interest rate. Again, we'll always come back to this cell, so let's anchor that to the zero power. I can copy that down and then if I add that column there is my net present value. IRR was simply equals IRR highlight my time zero through time four cash flows and I've got it. Again in terms of using Excel's net present value function equals NPV parenthesis my interest rate. Again, we'll always come back there, so we'll anchor it. Comma. And remember, I want to pick up my time 1 through time 4 cash flows. That's going to give me really the present value. And then from there, I need to subtract off my initial project cost. So there's my net present value again. Once I've done that for project A, I can simply copy that over to column G for project B. Uh, I did not anchor my references to right here in terms of my years. Notice the instead of columns D or B rather it changed to column E. So I need to edit those. And I can copy that up and I can copy that down. Now I've got it. Alright, um, let's calculate the difference in the project net present values. So project NPV of B minus A. Right now it is 1,005 dollars. And recall our crossover rate is the rate that makes that difference zero. Um, so I can use my goal seek to find that. So go up to data. What if goal seek? I want to set that different cell, set G18, to zero by changing my interest rate. And I can see that the crossover rate is 14.25%. 14.25%. All right, next thing we're going to do is do our net present value profile to build a data table. Um, what we're going to need to do first, we need to link the items we are interested in. Um, I have those there for you. If we didn't, let's say we want to pick up the net present value of project A, right there. Net present value of project B, right there. We want to evaluate how these net present values will change with different interest rates. To create a data table, we highlight the column that includes our input we want to try all these different interest rates and we want to then solve for our net present values for A and B. So we're going to highlight that data range uh, B32 through uh, D63. Then we're going to go up to data and we're going to come over to what if. We're going to create a data table. Our inputs are in the area of a column. Had we set this table up horizontally, I would have row inputs, but I've got column inputs. I want to put these interest rates into cell D3. That's where my interest rate is. And I want to calculate the net present value of each project, or all these different interest rates. And there we have it. And we can sure enough see that somewhere around that 14.25%, both projects have close to the same net present value. Next thing we're going to do is we want to create our uh, net present value profile or graph. So let's go ahead and highlight our data that we're interested in. Um, once we've highlighted the data we're interested in, we'll come up to insert a line graph and there's our net present value crossover. We can format our, we don't want the legend there if we don't want it there, we can delete that. In terms of our layout, we can enter in a chart 
title. This will be our NPV profile. We can, again, on our Insert tab, we can click on our chart and then our Insert tab. Again, Layout, we want to have Axes title, um, our horizontal axis. This was our interest rate. And click, there we've just added an interest rate. Okay, clicking on our chart, um, vertical axis. Uh, let's rotate it. This is our net present value. Project net present value. We can fill that out just a little bit. Let's reformat our um, font. Those. Uh, let's right click on our format axis. Number, not percentage. Uh, this is just a number amount. Uh, we won't have any decimal places. That's a little bit better in terms of our net present value. Uh, we have to redo our format, our axis. I'm not sure if we can do the horizontal and vertical separately, but you can play around with it to get your chart to work out.